I just can't get, catch my breath. I've just got up from this chair and I, and I walk around the house. I just can't get, catch my breath. Sadly, we have uh, six deaths to report today. Uh, one person in their 20s, one in their 70s, two in their 80s and two in their 90s. Uh, all of these people had in fact received vaccine. Uh, I just can't get, catch my breath. It is a reminder that even the vaccinated can get severe disease, particularly if you have underlying medical uh, medical issues. All of the all of these uh, uh, individuals had significant underlying medical problems. They, they all had significant underlying medical problems, and I don't want to go into any more detail than that. I just can't get, catch my breath. Uh, although this is only one day. It is what we expected and we need to look for a trend, but it is quite likely that we will continue to see this increase over the next two to three weeks. This is what we have been projecting and it's likely that this is, it, there is a good chance this is the beginning of that final surge before we reach a peak sometime in, a, in the next two weeks. Um, um, I just can't get, catch my breath. Um, and this is exactly as predicted as we head into uh, the peak in the next two to three weeks. I just can't get, catch my breath. What I would like to talk about is um, what, um, what, I just can't get, catch my breath. Um, what, how to approach uh, COVID from a personal point of view. Now as we are approaching the peak, if you have any of the symptoms suggestive of COVID, if you have flu-like symptoms, uh, then it's likely that you have COVID. It is likely that you have COVID. I just can't get, catch my breath. If you have uh, headache, runny nose, um, muscle aches, perhaps a cough, perhaps chills, if you have that constellation of symptoms, at this present time, it is very likely that you have COVID-19. I just can't get, catch my breath. Now, sometimes if you have mild symptoms, which is particularly common in those who are vaccinated, it can be very hard to pick, and it's very hard for us to pick as well. But if you have the classic flu-like symptoms, uh, chills, cough, runny nose, headache, muscle aches, assume you have COVID-19. Now we would like you uh, to get tested with a PCR test or, or rapid antigen test if possible, but if for whatever reason you're finding that difficult, you should just assume you have COVID-19 and isolate. I just can't get, catch my breath. But it's no need to be anxious or panic for the vast majority of people, particularly uh, otherwise healthy vaccinated adults, you will have a mild illness similar to any respiratory infection that you've had in the past. Uh, six deaths to report today. Uh, all of these people had in fact received vaccine. Uh, I just can't get, catch my breath. Sound okay? Continue. It is particularly important uh, that you get that booster. But anyone who is entitled to that booster that is present four months after the last dose should, should, should get that booster. Now, if you have either confirmed COVID-19 or possible uh, COVID-19 based on the symptoms you've experienced, so what's presumed COVID-19, please don't panic, please don't call the ambulance. I just can't get, catch my breath. The symptoms you need to look for, when, the question that I'm most frequently asked, when do I need to go to hospital? When do I need to call an ambulance? Well, probably the single most important symptom to look for is difficulty breathing. I just can't get, catch my breath. And people say, well, what is, people have never seen someone with difficulty breathing say, well, what does that mean? I don't understand what you mean by difficulty breathing. What I mean is, I just can't get, catch my breath. That's the sort of thing we talk to me that suggests 
that you have difficulty breathing and then you probably need to come to hospital. Other symptoms to be looking for um, are ch uh, chest pain, particularly uh, chest pain, significant chest pain that doesn't go away. A little bit of chest pain with coughing is not uncommon, but I'm talking about significant chest pain that doesn't go away. Sometimes coughing up blood, um, so that which you, we see that sometimes, uh, and sometimes fainting. We sometimes see that in people that are that are uh, significantly unwell. But the main one is that if I can just emphasise that the difficulty breathing. I just can't get, catch my breath, call an ambulance. There are a significant number of unvaccinated people, as you know, in intensive care. Um, but even, even vaccinated people who, with underlying medical conditions particularly can end up in intensive care, particularly. In planning for pandemics, once you get past a certain point, um, testing becomes less and less critical. Uh, we want people to get tested. We want to be able to monitor them. But the fact that we are not necessarily testing every single person um, and missing some is that's not a, a major failure of the system because I mean we used not to have things like rat tests that, that that's a that's a, a new concept so most of our planning for pandemics has assumed that at a certain point uh, we would just treat people based on their symptoms now ideally we will get significant more rat tests so people can confirm their diagnosis but the fact that we don't, particularly if you have the typical symptoms, now as we're approaching the peak, you can you can diagnose yourself. You, it's pretty. I just can't get, catch my breath. Call an ambulance. So if you have the obvious symptoms that I just described before, now you've got COVID. I just can't get, catch my breath. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. I just can't get catch my breath. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. I just can't get catch my breath. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance.